The husband catching custom of the Churu ethnic minority has been in existence for a long time. According to this custom, any woman who wants a husband must purchase a pair of silver rings, which she will use as a pledge of love to catch a husband. We would like to introduce to you this cultural practice of the Churu. The object that passes for the token and pledge of love in their culture is a silver ring. In the community of the Churu, women always take the initiative in initiating a relationship. If she likes a man, she will give him a ring. Once the man accepts it, he agrees to be her husband. A pair of silver rings is an integral part of every marriage in our Churu community. If the husband or wife abandons the other, he or she must compensate their partner. For example, if the couple has five children, he or she has to give their abandoned spouse six buffaloes, five buffaloes for five children and one for the spouse. For the Churu, a pair of silver rings is not simply a jewel or a betrothal gift. It is also an important token of symbolizing the honor of the two families. For this reason, the craftsmanship of making silver rings commands great respect in the community. Unfortunately, it is in danger of becoming lost because the traditional skill is strictly kept within the family and not taught to anyone from outside. At present, artisan Ya Tuat, living in the Madan hamlet in Dongdong, is the only artisan left who holds the secrets of the craft. There are different steps in the process of making a pair of rings, from getting the beeswax, carving out a mold, melting the silver, to polishing the rings. The most difficult step is to make the mold. The ring makers combine both the skillfulness of his hands with the secrets passed on in the family to produce unique pairs of rings that never replicate each other, because each pair comes from a mold that self-destructs in the firing process. Most importantly, it is a labor of love and passion, not tainted by any monetary motive. Thus, the finished products possess a special quality that reflects both the individuality of the artisan and the cultural value of the Churu community. Each ring costs about 60,000 Vietnamese dong, or 80,000 Vietnamese dong to make. About 5,000 Vietnamese dong of this goes to the artisan to pay for his time and labor. First, pineapple leaves are woven into a funnel and placed under the mold, which is soaked into a liquid mixture of buffalo dung and earth. Next, it is dried under the sun for one day and a half, or two days. Then, the artisan uses charcoal to burn it until the wax inside melts and mingles with the mixture, turning it into a new mold. As the final step, the artisan pours the melting silver into the mold and obtains a blackened pair of rings. After that, he uses forest soap berry to polish the rings. In their culture, the rings are made on the order of the girls and are most valuable when they are studded with a grain of the konia tree, which plays an important cultural role in the Churu community. The ring for the groom is called Sari and Sara for the bride. The gemstone of the Sari is made of seeds of the Kani tree, which is believed to symbolize faithfulness. The seeds of Kani trees could be reserved for up to 60 years. The specially made rings help Churu couples to remain committed to their marriage throughout their life. The charcoal used to melt silver is taken from a forest tree, kasu. The artisan must take a bath the day before he makes the rings. 
His work only takes place from 4 to 8 in the morning, since according to Churu ethnic people, it is the best time to produce a perfect pair of rings. Worried that the craft of making silver rings in the Churu ethnic community would soon be lost, teachers from Dalat Pedagogy College have provided funding for family members of artisan Yatwat to attend his workshop and learn the skills from him. According to local residents, the craftsmanship has for hundreds of years been preserved with only one family, and Yatwat and his wife Mawel are the last keepers of the family's traditional craft. Yatwat is now passing his trade to his two children and some of his brothers with the aim of preserving the special skill and traditional culture of the Churu people.